Yeah, yeah, everything is good. Um, first and foremost, man, I want to thank you for coming on the platform. It's definitely an honor to have you. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. Dig it. Thanks for having me. Right, right, because I know you, you're doing a lot of work out there. You got a lot of moves to make, so we ain't going to keep you long. But, you know, for the viewers who, who may not recognize you or they may recognize you, they may not know your name, let them know who you are and definitely where you're from. Oh, uh, dig it. Uh, my name is Edwin Lee Gibson. Uh, I'm an actor and a writer, uh, originally from uh, South Park, Houston. Uh, stand up, South Park. Um, I'm um, uh, New York City for about 15 years, um, UK uh, and uh, Paris, France. Now back in the States, uh, in between Los Angeles and Tucson, where I'm, I'm uh, writing. I'm back in LA right now. Wow, that's amazing. Now you say you're from South Park. I, I think I know somebody, is that, uh, is that where Scarface is from? Oh, uh, Scar Scarface is from, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, uh, he's from an adjacent neighborhood. Um, uh, um, um, I'm a South Acres, I'm a Sunnyside, you know, they say the only thing that separates us is I'm a, a Jutland Street. Yeah, that's what separates Wow. Us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, okay. Same area. I'm a, I'm a, see, I'm a, I'm a Robert Rowe Jenkins, you know, who uh, created I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, the whole I'm a, I'm a scratch uh, move there back in Houston's from from the neighborhood, you know, uh, Rothschild Sterling, stand up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's amazing because they sound, y'all got so many talented people. I mean, some of the greatest musicians on earth, you know what I'm saying, come from that area. So that's that's amazing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all represent. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm uh, uh, DJ Screw, uh, you know, Robert o. O. Jenkins. I'm, uh, the Chopped man. Screwed. Yeah. Chopped and Screwed right there in South Park. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let me yeah. see. Now, I got to ask you this. Now, how did you even uh, get into acting? Were, were you into theater as a kid in school? Did you do plays or did you get into it in high school or go to college? Or Yeah, that's where the girls were when I was like 11, 12. You know, I was like, that's all I was concerned about. But, uh, you know, I uh, started taking it seriously when I was about 14. My mom, who uh, was a social worker, but she was a classically trained voice, I started singing with her when I was about five in church. Uh, saw uh, Fout Albert and the Cosby Kids, Bill Cosby, when I was about five, six years old, and I was like, that's what I want to do with my life. Um, I started taking it seriously when I was about 14 and uh, um, uh, was working in the theater since, well, you know, professionally since I was 16. So my, my mom would take me to see shows for my birthday. Um, and so seeing seeing that but i i always like to say that my first introduction to 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 theater was uh was um uh, the mothership connection uh uh um, a concert partner funkadelic and boosie george clinton because that was so uh, theatrical so i i taught that as my first uh, theatrical experience but yeah um um a year and a half in high school that was all the the uh training i think i'd say that i had uh everything else was just um uh, being um, immersed in the theater and later on TV and film. Um, but it's what I've done since I was 16. But I haven't, but I never trained. Um, I studied uh, mathematics um, in a college. Um, and, uh, but I was always just, uh, when I wasn't on the baseball field, I was in the theater and, you know, all that stuff. So, yeah, so I just kind of grew up with it. And here, you know, 42 years later, Still rolling. Wow, that's phenomenal because I heard you mention in New York and Paris and Europe and all these other places. So, I mean, for you to be able to do something that you obviously got a passion for and something you phenomenal at and you can make money. I mean, that, that's like every everybody would dream to be able to have something like that. Yeah, well, well you know, the uh, the uh, money is um, a, a relative, but, you know, uh, you know, you uh, know, as artists, um, it's there. It's not, uh, you don't do it necessarily for the money. Do it just because, you know, I, mean, I could do something else, but I can't do anything else, if you know what I mean. Um, but, uh, but yeah, but, you know, you open yourself up to the universe and the universe uh, rewards you with some other uh, avenues. So being able to uh, 
live in all these places from uh, Mexico City to um uh, to uh, Shanghai and to um uh, you know perform uh, in all these places um uh, even to the you know the continent you know um, uh, uh, Ghana and South Africa um, um, it's just been um you know um, uh, it, it's what's supposed to happen it's 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 what I set out for as an artist not trying to be a you know movie star all that stuff is relative um but I'm an artist when it all when it's all said and done Oh yeah, phenomenal artist because obviously your work is allowing you to get more and more and get more, but not only, you know, with, with different roles and traveling, you getting to work with some of the best of the best, man. Some of the greatest actors in the world and comedians and you know, yeah. you was a part of all of that. So you 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 wanted a peers for sure. So I gotta ask you, man, what was that experience like, you know, doing what you love to do in Africa? What was that trip like? It, it was it was great. I mean, you know, I uh 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 uh, uh, I like to think that you know uh, all those all those folks also get to work with me, so you know. <laughs> uh, uh, um, 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 it, it was great um, to uh, be in a place where, you know, where it actually all started because the uh, the uh, uh, Rio was the first um, actor, you know, going from village to village telling these stories, and then uh playing all these parts and uh then you move to rome where you had a uh, thespis step out of the the, uh, the uh, greek chorus and you're supposed to have been the first actor but i take it back to the continent where um where the uh you know the agrio uh, was and so all those iterations um but 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 uh, going back to the continent to a work was really really great uh really amazing artists there as well um who see it beyond entertainment uh i like to stress that i'm not an entertainer you know oh, this is bigger than entertainment to me you know if you're an entertainer you moved by it that's cool but i got much bigger fish to fry with respect to culture um the past uh what i what i see uh beyond and what i can leave for for the art Oh yeah, no doubt. And I gotta ask you because you you portray some iconic people in some of your roles. I mean, like what type of feeling and what type of pressure is that to be able to do a Dick Gregory or a Bill Russell? I mean, these people are like giants. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm a I'm a Mr. Russell, literally. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no, um, um, it, it was cool. Um, uh, the role of Dick Gregory actually brought me back to the country because I was working in Paris and uh, got a phone call about this piece. And uh, the great uh, Joe Morton was doing the piece first, but he couldn't do it any longer. And I got a phone call saying my name keeps coming up. And um, at the same time, I'd been offered uh, five episodes on this show called The Shy. And so I had to make a choice between that and playing uh, someone I've always loved since growing up as a kid. And so there was really no choice to come back and play uh, Baba Gregory in a, a solo show, no doubt. So it's an hour and 40 minutes, just me on stage as him. So um, pressure, you know, um, uh, I like it like that, you know, uh, uh, let's get it. So, uh, uh, um, so it's scary, every, it was scary every night, but I, I like being in that space. You know, um, so it was a wonderful experience. Um, I'm glad, hap I'm happy that the uh, universe chose me to be able to come and take over that role, and um, uh, and it it really went off well. Uh, playing Bill Russell, uh, I I wish that the show had allowed us to see more of him, but that wasn't what you know that that wasn't what the show was about. But to just be able to uh, have that on the resume, and I think I was, I don't know if he'd been played before, but I know I was the last person to uh, portray him before he passed away. Um, and I was the first one to portray uh, Baba Gregory since he passed away. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, again, you know, the universe puts you in these great positions and uh, I'm thankful for it and just want to work hard at it.